We're going to talk about NAD. Actually, what we're going to talk about is what happens to our bodies while we need NAD. NAD stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. It's easier just to say NAD, so that's what we're going to do. But if you go to a textbook or you go online and you start looking up what NAD is, it's actually part of what drives your mitochondria to produce energy. So we've all seen these diagrams of mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell in a textbook or online somewhere. And what that diagram with the little squiggly line in it represents is the series of reactions that ultimately end up in your body generating ATP or energy. And NAD is one of the main currencies or main molecules that your body uses to produce ATP at the end of that cycle. There's a lot of other things that go into that, but NAD is one of the major components. NAD got its popularity probably 30 or 40 years ago as we were treating people with addiction. We knew that if we treated them with NAD, the likelihood that they would have a return to their addiction or that their uh, withdrawal from the drugs would be so severe that we were lessening both of those, right? We decreased recidivism and we made the detox and withdrawal process easier easier for people. And now NAD has been touted for its anti-aging properties and we could literally list a dozen things, positive things that NAD does for our bodies. What I want to focus on today are the three most important aspects that I find that benefit patients the most from NAD. And the first one is restoring their energy. So we talked about how your mitochondria produce ATP, NAD being the main currency for that. So there are two major things that will rob you of your NAD levels. Number one is chronic stress. Number two, is some type of acute illness, okay? So, and that acute illness could also be some major event. For example, you competed in a marathon and you ran that 26 miles. Well, your body perceived that stressor of the marathon the same as it would as if you'd gotten a really bad case of the flu and ended up getting pneumonia. And so your body needs to be rebooted after that. It needs to be got back online to produce energy because those events are going to change the way your mitochondria function. The older you get, the more sicker you are, the lower your NAD levels, the lower your ATP levels are, and the poorer your energy levels are gonna be throughout the day. So restoring your energy is one of the main properties that we like of NAD. The second one is anti-aging. We know that it helps protect our DNA against damage, and we are learning more as time goes on about how our DNA, and specifically damage to our DNA, can affect our health down the road, particularly as it could pertain to us getting cancer. Maintaining the health of your DNA is one of the key properties of NAD. NAD, and while you can't measure it, you can't really see it, we do know that the NAD is working. And the third aspect of NAD that we find most helpful is um, helping with your brain fog. A lot of people feel as if they're not able to get their words out quick enough. Maybe they're just not operating at quite the level they want with recalling numbers or being able to tell someone's name. And that brain fog is typically alleviated with a series of NAD therapies. In my opinion, this is because our nervous system is just operating better, right? We're basically transmitting signals at a much quicker pace. Our body is able to decipher those signals. And so NAD helps improve these processes. You guys have probably figured out that here at Compass, we don't typically offer one therapy or recommend one therapy. We find that combination therapies typically produce the best results. And with NAD, that's, that's also true. So what we've developed here at Compass is a complete mitochondrial rejuvenation program. That program includes six weeks of NAD therapy, once a week for six weeks, but also a group of supplements that help support the function of NAD, support the function of the mitochondria so that we get the maximal benefit. One of the therapies that we use use the most is oral NAD and this is true niogen. So this is a physician grade supplement that has NAD in it and taking this alone will help improve your brain fog and improve your energy capacity. The other supplement that we like to include with our program is NMN. This is a precursor to NAD and will also help improve your NAD levels and support mitochondrial health. These are just a couple of the supplements that we found beneficial to include with NAD. We have several more that are included in our mitochondrial rejuvenation plan. This is an eight week plan where we offer supplements for one week before you start the NAD therapy. You do NAD therapy weekly for six weeks and then you have one final week of supplements at the end. End. So if you find yourself struggling with brain fog, maybe your energy is low, maybe you just got sick or you're trying to recover from some event, I hope you'll consider that NAD therapy could be a benefit for you. If you feel like NAD therapy may be something that you're interested in or may benefit you, give us a call at Compass, share this video with someone that you love, like our video, follow our page, 
and come see us soon at Compass so that we can help you find the best version of you.